Cape Cod Beer was founded in 2004 uh, by my husband Todd and myself. We've gone from having, you know, being one guy making beer and delivering it in my minivan and pretty much have grown organically over the last 13 years. When we started Cape Cod Beer, we knew that there were no distributors located on Cape Cod. And we knew if we wanted to sell our beer locally, and that was kind of our focus, we, we never really wanted to take over the world. We just wanted to kind of take over our little part of it, I guess. We only sell our beer within about a 50 mile radius. Started out as like, you know, 20 miles. <laughs> Town of Barnstable, just the mid Cape. And then we kind of grew towards Orleans and then we kind of grew towards Falmouth. And so we very quickly decided that that would be our philosophy, our premise behind which we began our business. It's worked out really well for us because we have great contact with our customers. The beer leaves here in our trucks cold. It gets delivered cold, it's ready to tap. It never sits in a warm warehouse, and it gives us a lot more control over the way the beer tastes when the end consumer purchases it. So how do we do this so that we don't have to work, you know, 15 hours a day so that the business doesn't run our lives so that we can, you know, live on Cape Cod? Because if you want to live here, you want to be able to enjoy Cape Cod. And so how do we build a business that we have some control over? We didn't want to take over the world. People kept saying, oh, you can be the next Sam Adams. We a little bit were like, well, we don't, we don't really want to be that big, right? We just want to make our business big enough. And, you know, I think some people thought that was naive. We own the business outright, and we've just always just wanted to be the reason that people came to Cape Cod. We try to use our space basically as a benefit to the community. We do a monthly hula hoop class. We have Tai Chi coming this fall. We've done yoga. When we opened this brewery, the local community, the home brewers, um, our friends all came out to help us. So we feel really strongly that we owe back to the community. We, we think it's important. Cape Cod Beer makes four beers year round. We have a blonde ale, an amber ale, an IPA, and a porter. And then we do like crazy amounts of specialty beers. Just about every beer we've ever made, people want us to make again. But they also want us to make new styles. So the challenge is how many beers can you make in a year? People don't think about the impact that these small businesses that grow have in a community. So you start with one guy and then all of a sudden you get, you know, 30 people. We buy our trucks in our community. We buy a lot of locally produced products. We sell all of our beer right here in the community. So the economic development that's happened just because of our business in a weird sort of geeky kind of way, that might be our crowning achievement. We moved here in 1998. I had never experienced anything quite like Cape Cod. And it's funny because we have this place to ourselves for like eight months out of the year. And then everyone wants to come here and we have to share it, which is a very interesting concept because, you know, if you work in an industry that lives on tourism, then you're like, come on, bring it, come on down, bring it in. It's just someplace really special, you know, plus beautiful beaches and amazing sunsets and all the other things that people want to come to Cape Cod to enjoy, um, it's, it is, it's totally home. <laughs>